All right, guys, let's look at Blender 4.0 Alpha. Got some really cool upgrades that they've done. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab an extrude node. Doesn't have to be anything special. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this in. And I'm going to hit Control G. And for this upgrade, this is an organizational upgrade. This is really, really cool. I'm going to pull out the end panel. And you see all the usual stuff. And if we hit the plus, we don't just have inputs and outputs. We now have panels. And so once you drop in the panel, you can now take things like all the bullions and you can drag them down and hover over and drop because there's no up and down arrow to, to um, do that. You just have like a duplicate item. I'm not going to do any of that. And I can drag the individual and drop that down and then take all of my bullions and as you're dropping these in I guess you could probably drop it on the panel and then it would come up next so you'll figure out your organization there like where you want these um, you can move them around which I would put maybe selection right there there we go so side and then top and maybe I want top and then side now that's really cool and if I um, go back and forth with the arrow here you can see I can just kind of collapse that which is nice and then we've got the panel out here uh, let's go ahead and just rename that boolean values and then if I come back out we've got boolean values and we can drop that down and this inputs and outputs everything's where it should be very cool now I saw uh, Cartesian caramel do this this really really cool uh, idea that he had for putting spacers in so this is not my idea uh, but what you can do is I'll go somewhere like here and I'm going to add in an input and I'm going to switch this to a string value and I won't have it actually represent anything so let me go in let's see just double click backspace enter and then if I come back out, and that's kind of above the actual geometry, so I don't really want that. But I would bring it down to like the offset scale, so that way I can kind of put a separator here and then hit tab. And it doesn't show up necessarily very well here. But if we were to drop a few things in here, the spacer is pretty nice over here in the geometry nodes modifier tab. And then, of course, exporting all those fun values. And now you've got this nice dividing line, if you will. And then I could just literally just put another one in, back it out, and drag it down to the bottom. And I'll just rename that to a string because I didn't do that and come back out I don't need offset since that would definitely be um, offset by something else I could just jump into the node group and put my offset in there if I wanted something uh, but for organizational purposes that's really cool you can set up quite a few different things and there's some pretty big changes in how the add modifier looks and if you just click on this, you'll get a drop down list kind of uniformly, uh, kind of like if you were in here and you hit shift A, uh, you get all this organization. Like you want to go to curves and then the appropriate sub menu and then the sub menu based on what you're looking for. And you can actually hit shift A now over here and do the exact same thing. And you can pull up your modifiers. So, you know, if you're looking for. The subdivision surface, it's going to be under generate now instead. So we're going to check it out and have some fun with that. I will, however, absolutely miss the big menu drop down. So if we go back over to 3.6.2, which is the latest build that I've got on here. I haven't downloaded a whole lot. I had to reset the computer like three times in a row. It's very frustrating. And now it, everything loads a little slower. So we'll just figure this thing out. Okay, that was definitely too slow. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. I've got this 
nice little grass generator that I'm building out. Ton of fun. Um, let's see. I don't play around with this thing too much right now. I might turn this into an add-on at some point, but I'm just so busy lately. Yeah, cool, right? But anyways, if you come over here and add a modifier, you get this big stack, man. This is this is so much easier. Like, I just could not even, I wouldn't even have to look sometimes. It's just like, boom, sub, surf, solidify, all that stuff. And then if we were to come back over to this one, then this is what you get, sub menus. Uh, but it's cool. It's clean. That's the thing that Blender's been going for. So you shift A over here, you get all that now. Uh, you can still go, well, you go to the ad menu, you're still getting sub menus, no matter where you go. <laughs> it's, it's a small learning curve, I suppose, but even for uh, experienced people, they're going to run into the wall with that maybe. But the tu the previous tutorials that I've done and everybody else has done is kind of somewhat nullified it, it, in a very small sense. I mean, you can still get in here and find it, but now under edit, you're like, oh gosh, what do I need here? Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, there's weighted normal. Okay, so you can plug them all in like that and before we're done let's throw another panel in at least before we're done with this am I in the wrong area yeah let's throw that panel off I don't want it there I want it inside so I'll throw another panel in and I think if I throw boolean va boolean values in here or is it not gonna let me do that I throw the panel in the panel it should let me do that, but it's not letting me do it for some reason. Oh well, no big deal. So we can throw this as uh, geometry, or rather, I'll just call this one fields. I wanna throw the offset into fields, offset scale, cool. Come back out, and I've got the fields set up here now. And if you kind of minimize that, and if I'm not mistaken, actually, if you have, so this is a more advanced way of doing it, but old school, control H, and you hide all of the unused sockets anyways. So, but that's neat. I think this is better. I don't want to use the control H anyways, because if they disappear and you're just like, you're trying to debug something, that's going to be a real pain in the butt. So that's really decent. So I go to my fields, I go to my Boolean values, I go to my geometry, all that fun stuff. And then I've got this outputted spacer. You can keep doing that. All right, for another really cool update, the is shade smooth is gone. It is now is face smooth. And we have an is edge smooth. So we've got a couple different things we can do. It's also built into the actual node. So if you wanted to remove that for the edges of something or just remove it for the faces, then you have that as an option. Of course, as always, we can override that with the uh, set, with the selection. And if you would like, you can come over to the Blender Wiki, the projects, and take a look at some of the specifics. It looks like there's still some work that needs to be done on this, but it's pretty functional now. It gives you a little bit of a better behavior uh, depending on the attributes that exist with the combination of the values between the domains. So that's a nice update, very nice. And the make group, this is something important to note inside of geometry nodes you won't be able to make a group or ungroup things any longer from the menu and so as as always going back and go back over to 4.0 and if we hit what is it control alt g yeah then that will ungroup it and then of course i'm just going to control z well i can go back control c <laughs> control shift z go forward and then just grab this node and hit control g and I've got a group again. So that's a good way of doing it because you don't have those options anymore. And did I s destroy my panels? I think I did. I don't have enough um, go back, if you will. There we go. So anyways, there's a couple new updates for you. This node is definitely more powerful now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna use that quite a bit. It's gonna be very handy.
And here's something a little bit more interesting. We now have a rotation socket built into quite a few different nodes. You'll see it with this kind of purple pinkish hue to it. Uh, it's not on all of them, but on a specific set like the Euler to rotation, rotation to Euler, axis angle to rotation, rotation to axis angle vector, uh, well, the rotate vector, and the rotate to Gatornian. And so you'll see it on that. As far as I know, it's not on anything else. It'll definitely give you a better idea of what type of data you're passing along. And another very nice and notable change will be drag and drop materials and this is something i saw pablo actually talk about a while back this is not a, a recent live stream and apparently somebody made that happen as well so if you've got materials here and let's just bam that thing out of there you got a couple different materials then you can now drag and drop these not from here but if you come up here you can drag and drop your materials in. I think that's pretty darn cool as well. So if you wanted to set your materials or do, you know, whatever, you just very quick, very nice. And we could throw a replace material in here. Let's just say this was the old and this one's the new. And that's always cool. It's funny, I've, I don't think I've ever actually used this node until just now. And I've been working with Blender for like, 17 18 months it's funny never even used it but uh, there you go that's one way you can do it and you now have that option to just drag and drop them in very cool very cool i like that very much and you can still obviously select it to be a different material if you wish so very nice yeah wow i don't have the um node wrangler on here because i just just got this copy and haven't really been playing with it too much and I'm literally working right now with one contact lens. The other one, I like an eyelash fell in. Boom, got me. Down for the count. It's too late to put it in now. So now I should be able to alt right click that. There we go. Fun. More fun. And let's see. So when you drop in nodes, obviously, they'll auto space. So set shade smooth. I drop that in that's going to automatically offset everything you may not like that and that is not here anymore let's see name it 4.0 right yeah so i don't see that anymore here but under the edit preferences and editing uh let's see where is that cursor subsurface lock adjust Blah, blah, blah. Well, duh. They just scroll down. Node editor. Auto offset. So it won't do it if you turn that off. And I'll just alt. Left click. Drop that. We move this back to where it was. And drop that in. And now it doesn't auto offset. Because I am i don't really like the auto offset. I just kind of like I'm always adjusting <laughs> my nodes in whatever way I want. And then you can offset the margin. Uh, you can change how it looks a little bit. Get some miscellaneous sculpt overlay color. Cool. Some different things in here. All right, so all of that is cool. Now let's just drop in my favorite monkey here. Let's go back. And I can't stand looking at it like that. So I'm going to turn on cavity and both. Kind of play with stuff a little bit. <clears throat> That's a little bit better. Whoops. Don't want another material on that. Don't care. Now let's go find the subsurf. There it is. And then we can shade that bad boy smooth. Now another thing we can do. And this is like a collective setup change, if you will. Uh, you can come over and you can look at your stats for everything. Oh, there it is. I'm going to shoot myself. Okay, so I've got one object selected out of 36 because I've got instances. And so you'll be able to see that and all the different vertices that are there, all the edges, faces, and triangles. And if I just select this one, 
This is 33 out of 36 objects selected. You can hit A for all. That's 36 of 36. And you get a grand total of all the uh, vert edge faces and triangles and such. So that's cool. That's a nice little setup. You'll be able to see all that now. All right, so something else to actually check out. Uh, they changed some menu stuff here. Let's go to 3.6, Blender 3.6.2. And if you go up to Render Engine or just basically anywhere, you'll see EV Workbench Cycles and then Engine. So that's like a waste of space pretty much. I think if you were to kind of squish this down, yeah, would you actually see that? Yeah, so it's just taking up space. Now, if we come back over, and I don't like that for some reason. Got <laughs> just kind of throw a plane in under there and take advantage of the old school uh, modifier setup. There we go. That just looks better. I just like it that way. And if we come back over here to 4.0 alpha and go to the render cycles, all that's gone. You won't see that anymore. So if you were under any of those uh, menus, particularly the drop downs, you're not going to see the extra stuff there anymore. So you're not really missing anything. Very nice. I like that much better. All right. One last thing. And there's so there are so many updates, but these are just the ones you can kind of play with. There's so many, um, there's so many updates that are like performance and different things and new things aren't working with the old and old things are working with the new and all that fun stuff. It looks like my battery is about to die. Let me hang on a second. All right. So now I've got everything plugged in. All right. So wireframes we've got an upgrade and let's check that out. Uh, we can go wire color here to be theme or object, random, blah, blah. Let's go to viewport shading. I'll go to random. Let's make, a couple of extra objects, if you will. Maybe just change their size a touch. Maybe not that much. And now if we come in to the wireframe and we'll turn on the wireframe. And we'll come over here and go to random. And these kind of wire, random wireframes are really cool. Yeah, uh, you can also go in and change the opacity of said wireframes and like how much they um, they work gosh that looks kind of like the shortest path node there it's, uh, it's pretty cool gotta play around with that and so you've got the option of theme object or random i like the randomization of that that's actually uh, pretty cool so anything else you make there and i was kind of wondering if you could Maybe juice that up with the met caps a little bit. Yeah, see, that looks nice. All right, so there you go, fellas, ladies, anybody who's watching. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, smash that subscribe, smash that like. I'll be coming out with uh, some pretty cool add-ons here within the next month or two and plenty of more tutorials, and there's a lot more of updating to do for Blender 4.0, and it's just growing and growing as the time goes. Uh, so just gonna stick with it because the changes that are coming, there's like AGX, there's a bunch of different things. I'm not gonna be able to cover all that in one video, but I really appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial lesson.